The theory of evolution was developed by Charles Darwin Blah. and published in his book On the Origin of Species. He explained that natural selection is a process behind evolution. Charles Darwin developed his theories after his adventures upon the HMS Beagle. In his travels, he observed that creatures found on the islands he visited were similar to ones found on the mainland, but appeared to be slightly different. It wasn't until he returned home that he came to the conclusion that species are specially modified to their environments, and that's why they differ. He developed four conditions explaining why this happens. Darwin's theory of natural selection by descent with modification is testable and observable fact. Experiments have been conducted in the wild and in labs. Let's dive deeper into Darwin's four conditions. Condition number one, individuals within a population differ. There are features that differ within populations of the same animal. In our case, the feature that varies between our giraffes is neck length. Some giraffes were born with long necks, some were born with short necks. Condition number two, the differences are, at least in part, passed from parents to offspring. Darwin's descent with modification is the idea that offspring are fairly similar to their parents with some genetic differences. Condition number three, some individuals are more successful at surviving and reproducing than others. In the case of our giraffes, the long neck individual did not acquire its neck by stretching to grab the leaves. Instead, individuals within the population were born with a neck length that was longer than others. Because a longer neck allowed them to reach the food that was otherwise unattainable, it gave them an advantage. Condition number four. The successful individuals succeed because of variant traits they have inherited and will pass on to their offspring. <coughs> Giraffes with the longer neck advantage are in better health and able to pass this feature to their offspring. Because this trait is more successful than shorter necks, more individuals in the population have it. Over time, this process can result in populations that specialize for particular environments and may eventually result in emergence of new species. In other words, natural selection is an important process, though not the only process, by which evolution takes place within a population of organisms. Let's review. Individuals within a population differ. The differences are, at least in part, passed from parents to offspring. Some individuals are more successful at surviving and reproducing than others. Excuse me. The successful individuals succeed because of variant traits they have inherited and will pass on to their offspring. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Mwah, mwah.